All right, now, this is an important portion of the reference table. The inferred properties of Earth's interior. Now, this portion of the reference table has a lot of information, okay? And if you look at it carefully, it's broken up into three parts. The upper portion tells you the layers of Earth and their physical properties, okay? So starting from the top, you have the crust and the rigid mantle, together known as the lithosphere, okay? Right underneath that, you have the asthenosphere, other known as the plastic mantle. This is where you have convection currents. Convection occurs within the plastic mantle or the asthenosphere. Underneath that, you have the stiffer mantle. Okay. Then underneath that, you have the liquid outer core. Okay, the all-important liquid outer core. Then we have our solid inner core. Okay, now on this column right here on the density, it tells us the density, right? So if you look at it carefully, if you look at your reference table, all right, the continental crust is considered granitic. So being as granitic, it's felsic, okay? It's felsic, it's generally felsic. And the density is about 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. Now the oceanic crust is basaltic, okay, is basaltic. So essentially it's made of basalt. So it's a mafic, right? It's a mafic igneous rock, right? And it's denser. So being that it's mafic, it's denser. It has a density of 3.0. And this is important. This is one of the reasons why, or the theories of why uh, the oceanic crust sinks or subducts is because it's denser. Now, when you get into the mantle, the mantle has a density of about 3.4 to about 6.6 .6 grams per cubic centimeter. Then uh, it increases as you go to the outer core. It increases to about 9.9 .9 to 12.2. And the inner core, about 12.8 to about 13.1. So obviously, as you go towards the center of Earth, the density is going to increase. It becomes more dense because it's highly pressurized. Now, this column, now, well, these two graphs here tells us the pressure, the pressure and the temperature versus depth. So the depth is in kilometers. Now, a past student did something clever. You can write down the depth in kilometers right underneath the graph for pressure. So here we have zero, and this would be 1,000, 2,000, three, I'll write the four here, 5,000, and 6,000, okay? Now, again, this is a line graph, right? So this line graph, this graph shows you a, a direct relationship with depth versus pressure. So, like for example, we want to know the pressure in millions of atmospheres at a depth of, say, 4,000 kilometers. So you go to 4,000 kilometers, you go up to the line, and then read across. So it's about approximately about 2.2 million atmospheres. What about five kilometers? You go to five, you go up to the line, and you read across. So it's three million atmospheres. All right, and you can do the same thing for about 2,000. You go up to the line, read across, okay? And it's a little less than one million atmospheres. So that's how you read the graph. For the temperature, it's the same way. You find the kilometer, you find the distance, you go up to the line and then read across. So the temperature here is in Celsius. For example, 3,000 at a depth of 3,000 kilometers, you go 3,000, you go up to the line, and then you read across. 
So the temperature is 5,000 degrees Celsius. Okay, what about, say, 1,000? Go to 1,000, you go up, and it's a little bit more than 3,000 degrees Celsius. So you have to be very careful in terms of the questions that they ask. And they, then, they tend to use diagrams, different various diagrams of the Earth's layer. So you have to be able to pick it up. All right, now let's go through the problems. Now it says the inferred temperature at the interface. Anytime you see interface, interface refers to the boundary. The boundary, okay, between the stiffer mantle and the asthenosphere is closest to. So here we have the stiffer mantle and the asthenosphere. Here is the boundary, and we want to know the temperature. So basically, what you do is take, you go here at the boundary, and then go all the way down to the temperature, okay, and you see where it meets where it hits then you read across okay so somewhere closer to 3000 so if you look at our choices it's choice B 2500 degrees Celsius which combination of temperature and pressure is inferred to occur within the earth's stiffer mantle Okay, so within the Earth's stiffer mantle. So within, here's the key term, within. So it may be somewhere in the middle of the stiffer mantle. So you kind of have to estimate. So if, say, we take this area right here, we go down. So the pressure in millions of atmosphere is less than one. Okay, and if we go down to the temperature, It's about 4,000 degrees Celsius. So let's see which one is our best choice, our closest choice. It'd be choice A, about 3,500 degrees Celsius and about 0.4 million atmospheres. So you have to be careful, especially when they use within. What happens to the density and temperature of rock within the Earth's interior as depth increases? So we already know as depth increases, as you go down in depth, okay, density increases. So the values of the density are increasing. So that we know. So choice A and B is already out, where it says density decreases. That's out. Now we're down to C and D. If you look at in terms of temperature, here we have depth. Here's our temperature curve, right? The temperature increases with depth. So the best choice will be choice C. Density increases and the temperature also increases, all right? So something to remember, temperature, pressure, and density, they all increase with depth. Okay, which temperature is inferred to exist in the Earth's plastic mantle? So the plastic mantle, again, that's the asthenosphere. So you take about the middle portion and you go down. Try to make a straight line down. Use a straight edge, right, and see where it hits. And here we have about 2,000 degrees Celsius, and that's choice A. That's our best choice. Okay. What is the Earth's inferred, inferred interior pressure in millions of atmosphere? at a depth of 3,500 kilometers. So what's the pressure at 3,500 kilometers? So 3,500 kilometers would be in between 3,000 and 4,000. And we want to know the pressure millions of atmosphere. So you just, you go up and read across. We have about two. The best choice is 1.9. And lastly, the pressure at the interface, again, interface, so it's a boundary, between the, the mantle and the outer core of the Earth is inferred to be approximately so. So the boundary between 
mantle in the outer core. Okay, so we go here, that's the boundary. Then we go down to the pressure curve and read across. It's about one and a half. Our best choice is choice B, 1.4 million atmospheres.